Hey there, so if you're watching this, you probably just watched my last video where I just unboxed the uh, a really, really cool uh, DVD documentary. So if you guys remember what I said at the beginning, at the end of last year, I talked about WTF, of getting like things that were kind of different and out there. And uh, my good friend James actually sent me the these two here to start off my... WTF of 2017. So here we go with uh, with number one. I, these were already in box because if you watched, hopefully you watched the last video where I explained that I did a video, wasn't really satisfied with it, so I wanted to redo it. Unfortunately, that meant you missed the excitingness of me ripping paper open and opening up paper and taking videos out of paper. So if you want to like pretend that I'm doing that for a second, you can just like we'll go. There we go. Um, so, first off is one I really didn't expect, uh, and it is the Vinegar Syndrome, so you know it's a WTF movie. And that is a cool double feature, a cool Lenny Quigley double feature, a cool David Dakota double feature. Do you know what it is yet? You should. You should, because remember when I showed you those, all the Vinegar Syndrome stuff? I talked about this movie, so have you seen that video? Have you seen the video? Uh, there's two, actually. And it is Murder Weapon and Deadly Embrace. These are two films but done by Dave Dakota. They're straight to video type of films. They're kind of like the uh, erotic thrillers that were done back then. Uh, one of them has Jan Michael Vincent in it, uh, which I remember that one kind of. It's Deadly Embrace. Uh, that's where he gets the... Uh, he hires this guy. It could be kind of like a, a handyman or something like that. And his wife is like hot for the handyman. And there's... Uh, Lenny Quigley, who plays the girlfriend of the of the handyman, who is being trying, who, who's the wife of the, who, the wife of Jamaica Vincent is trying to seduce, and uh, and then there's Michelle Bauer who plays a. Uh, it's you 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 just gotta see what what she plays, and in Murder Weapon, I'm trying to remember Murder Weapon. It's been a while for that one. Uh, yeah, it's more the two girls, right? Yeah. So basically, with these two girls get out of the asylum, are uh, supposed to be cured. And uh, they have a party, and of course, if two girls get out of an asylum, everybody is going to go to their party. Because why not, right? Why not? Uh, well, if the girls look like the girls in this movie, yeah, you probably would go to their party. Ah, uh, yeah. Lenny Quigley, goodness. This is, again, that's a Blu-ray DVD combo pack. So, there is both Blu-ray and DVD editions of it here. Uh, it says it had a reversible cover, but it really actually doesn't have a reversible cover. It's just got like a, a little kind of a, really a kind of a picture of a, on the back, and, but not a, just, you know, just a standard picture type thing. Uh, it does have two audio commentaries uh, with D David Cote and Lynn Quigley in each of them. Uh, so that's really cool. I'm actually looking forward to that. There's an introductions for both of these films. So uh, David Cote, the director, actually introduces both these films, gives little facts on each one of them. And of course the trailers are included as well. So. A really nice package put together again by Vinegar Syndrome. So guys, if you have not checked out Vinegar Syndrome, I'd still, I gotta recommend, you know, I gotta say, I recommend them highly. Uh, this is my first Vinegar Syndrome double feature, I'm pretty sure. And this is a ABC release, so uh, there you go, guys. It is, and I can show you the cover of this one, but finally Vinegar Syndrome, I'll show the back cover up. Next up is a Grindhouse releasing, you know that's going to be in the cool packaging. So, uh, Grindhouse Releasing presents I Drink Your Blood. This is kind of like the Gore Spider, the Herschel Gordon Lewis type of thing. With uh, actually maybe a little bit better on the acting <laughs> maybe than, than the regular Herschel Gordon Lewis. Slightly. Alin Lowry's in it, uh, who was a favorite actress of mine. Very uh, attractive and odd looking. Uh, girl, you remember her from uh, when we watched uh, Shivers? She was the girl at the end of it, the one in the pool. Um, everybody remembers that scene. Um, so this is kind of like the hippie horror type thing, kind of like the Night of the Living Dead, Rabbit, uh, Charles Manson type of thing. Basically, there's this kind of cult, and the uh, there there's this I guess this Manson-esque kind of like uh, native guy and who's like kind of runs through this satanic hall and some people take it really seriously one guy really doesn't but uh they kind of like pick on this older guy and uh 
in front of his little kid, in front of the little kid, pretty much in front of his grandson. And the grandson is pretty pissed about it. So he actually takes a, he finds like a, like a dead rabbit dog. And he takes like a rabbit, uh, like blood out of it, out of the dog. And he puts it into the pies. Like he gives them some like meat pies or something like that because he owned a bakery. Uh, it's been a while since I've seen this. I did see a little bit of it on, uh, on Shutter, but I wanted to wait to watch this one in full uh, when I actually got to see her because I really am uh, interested in seeing this one again. But, like, batshit craziness ensues. That's, you know, that's obviously a thing. Uh, it's uh, it's embossed. It's got some crazy greatness on it. So I'm going to show you the special features on here. So first, we'll, I'll show you, then I'll talk about them. So we got here, uh, uh, of course, a new uh, high-def restoration on this one, four deleted scenes, including the original blood-drenched ending deemed too disturbing for 1970s audiences. Uh, provocative auto commentary from director David Durston and star Bashkar, that must have been the, uh, the, the guy, the leader of the cult. Uh, new adult uh, audio commentary from, adult, new audio commentary from actors Jack Damon and Tide Kearney. Brand new adept interview with director David Durston, revealing on-camera interviews with stars Lynn Lowry, oh yes, Tide Kearney and Jack Damon. Original theatrical trailer and radio spots, an extensive gallery of stills and poster art. That's really kind of cool. Rare and shocking film of Bashkar performing the evil King Cobra dance. <laughs> All right, that should be interesting. We also have this, a second film on here, How to Eat Your Skin, done in 1964, presented for the very first time in HD. And it actually has a feature. It actually has an exclusive interview with second unit director uh, William Greff. Uh, or Greffy, I'm not sure how it's pronounced. Uh, that was actually a movie that was kind of like put with the first with the other film. With, well, I drink your blood. He would like show them in, and drive it. It's a double feature, like being, honest. I drink your blood and I eat your skin. Can you bear it? Uh, type of thing. But that wasn't well. Okay, so it's got a third film on here as well. Blue Sextet, 1969. David Durst's long lost X-rated psychedelic shocker present presented for the very first time on home video. You know, X-rated shocker when it comes to like these type of films, you're more looking into like a gore. It's not so much like it's not like hardcore nudity or hardcore sex scenes or anything like that. It's gonna be like gore sequences because like back then you got like the Hirschgren Lewis and stuff like this was actually you know the got him X ratings for like blood and stuff like that, plus other surprises and that really intrigues me. Uh, what the other surprises are? I love this artwork. Uh, so it comes out like this. That is incredible, incredible artwork. Just want to keep that there for a second. So yeah, then it's just rabid, drug-infested hippies on a blood craze killing spree. So you open it up, and first off, it looks like this. So you got like both covers. You got like this cover here on the. Uh, are these two Blu-rays or is this a DVD and a Blu-ray? That's actually two Blu-rays. That's actually really cool. Uh, so it is a two Blu-ray edition. Yeah, I love that cover. Uh, see, there it was like uh, in the in the theater. You see like this. Kind of be like this, right? You see like both of them together. I drink your blood and I eat your skin. So you're going to get the uh, chapter thing on the back. I love that, the art in this. So uh, let's see. So Blue Sextet was conceived as a kind of a swinging 60s sexploitation noir. So it's really interesting. Uh, <laughs> Blue Sextet raised eyebrows when an X-rated cut of the movie was accidentally shown in place of the MPAA mandated R-rated version. Uh, we're just taking note of a fancy grizzly segments of a grand granule. Yeah, so it is like more of like a, the, the blood thing really than there's thin is like a kind of a nudity thing once uh, this type of stuff. So this is very kind of kind of a cheesy like a, kind of a blood exploitation thing. And there is Lynn Laurie. Like even if you see pictures of Lynn Laurie today, she is still an amazingly beautiful woman. Uh, I actually have her on my Facebook. Everybody should be following her. She's still doing stuff today, which is really cool. 
So there you guys go. <clears throat> That's two unboxings in one day. Uh, incredible, incredible stuff. Uh, thank you so much, James. I'm going to enjoy these five films here. Uh, I Drink Your Blood. Oh, there <laughs> Eat Your Skin and Blue Sextet and Murder Weapon and Deadly Embrace. So WTFs and reviews coming on up on a lot of stuff nowadays. So be looking forward to that. So guys, if you haven't checked out, uh, check these things out. Uh, Grindhouse releasing Vinegar Syndrome are both companies that are putting in really good WTF films. So if you love exploitation like I do and you're really into that type of stuff, then you've got to check out Vinegar Syndrome. You've got to check out Grindhouse releasing because they're putting in stuff that no other company is having the balls to put out. Well, well maybe Scream and uh, Arrow. But no, they're doing like more of the, the lesser. Like they're, they're not so mainstream. Uh, you see Arrow putting out some of this stuff though. But, uh, I love the grindness releasing stuff. I love the way Vinegar, I love, hope Vinegar Syndrome like, does well with these here, Lynn and Quigley releases, and actually does more stuff like this, and maybe branches out into like some Tame McClure and uh, Shannon Tweet stuff, which I would love to see as well. Uh, there's a few of those uh, direct-to-video uh, direct movies that I used to like, the Night Eyes series. I love, please, Vinegar Syndrome, put out the nut, get, talk, talk to uh, Andrew Stevenson and put out those Night Eyes movies, because I really want to see those on Blu-ray. Thanks for watching. I got some tea to finish over there. So uh, for me right now, thank you, James. It truly is time for tea.